Hello everybody, my name is Thomas Schimpf with the Synchro team from Bentley. Today we are going to take a look at creating work packages manually from the model and then scheduling them. As you can see here, we have the model linked to our schedule and we can visually see the sequencing of the tasks. We have our CWPs and have generated the required IWPs for the project. Let's take a look at how we can create these work packages in Synchro 40 Pro on a new project. We can see our plant in the 3D window and I've created the CWP header tasks and resource groups. We can select the CWP resource groups and the corresponding 3D elements in the 3D window will turn purple when selected. Now we can start to create IWPs and turn them into tasks in our schedule. Let's select the 3D objects from section one of area three in our plant. Simply rotate the plant to the preferred position and highlight the section required by holding shift and dragging the mouse to create a selection box. You can now see the selected 3D objects have turned purple. Now I can isolate my selection by right clicking and selecting isolate selected. As you can see, we now have all the material resources for section one. You may need to clean up a few loose ends that are not required. Simply select the elements not required, right click and hide selected. Once we have everything cleaned up and ready to go, we can take a look at our 3D object tree. From here, we can filter down to just our piping by unchecking the other model disciplines. Once we have just our piping, we will want to select all the piping in the 3D window by right clicking and selecting resource group from the list then choose create resource group from the selected. Resource groups are used to identify and bundle objects required for work packages. We can now give the resource groups the IWP name required and as you can see a new resource group has been created for our piping. I can now create a task using the resource group by selecting the parent task from the task list and the newly created resource group then right clicking on the resource group and selecting create tasks under selected task. Now you can see a child task was created under the selected task. We can now update the task duration and see it reflect in the Gantt chart. I previously created a piping appearance profile that has been assigned to this task. As the focus time moves, the piping will be green on installation and will be yellow for the end appearance making it easy to identify piping from other objects. This is quite a bit of piping associated to this one package, so we may want to break it down into smaller packages. If this is the case, we will want to unassign the resources from the task we just created and create new smaller packages. We will still have this parent task, but now we will want to create the smaller packages by selecting the piping required for the package. If the resource properties supplied from the model software include IWR values in the user field summary tab, we could use that to select all the objects with the same IWR value. But for this example, we will manually select. Once we have all the piping required, we will repeat the previous steps and create new resource groups and tasks for all the piping. I've created new smaller resource groups for the piping. As I select the work packages, the corresponding piping will turn purple. Now that all the piping is complete, we'll want to go back to our 3D object tree. We want to do the same for the structural, equipment, and scaffold. Again, we will repeat the steps to create new resource groups and tasks. Now that we have all the resource groups and tasks created for the structural, equipment, and scaffold, we can go through and select our resource groups to double check they all look correct in the 3D window. If everything looks good, we can start to link our tasks in the proper sequence. To do this, simply hold control on the keyboard and select the tasks in the order required. We will need the exchangers installed first, then we can install the two piping packages at the bottom of the exchangers. Once those are installed, we can build the scaffold needed for the upper piping and get the two upper piping packages installed. Next, we can install the structures beside both exchangers and finish up the last piping package. Now that we have all our tasks selected, we can select link as chain and reschedule. 
Let's run the focus time through our construction schedule and ensure we have the correct sequencing. And we can easily fix or adjust as needed. As you can see, we've created our work packages or resource groups, created our tasks, and have arranged our packages in the correct sequence for our construction schedule.